Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick angel card reading uh, every day. I thought I would pull one card and whenever you stumble across this video, I've asked the my spirit guides to call on the spirit guides of anyone who might need this particular message today. And I'm going to pull one card and that will be the message that might be helpful for you today. So I just really enjoy this. Like if you stumble across it and you're like, oh my gosh, like that's exactly what I needed. So um, let me know in the comments what you thought or if this was a message that you felt was helpful for you today. Now I am using um, these cards from Doreen Virtue and um, Radley, yeah, Radley Valentine. Now my understanding is Doreen Virtue, like her story is, I mean, yeah, I mean, she's kind of left the new age world or like she doesn't do these anymore. And I think, I think she's like, I, mean, I shouldn't be gone, but I think she, I mean, she went very Christian. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, so I don't know how other people feel about her. I'm not going to judge her. And I love these cards. I love them. I really do. They were my very first deck and I find them super easy because I'm not pulling, this isn't the one I'm pulling, but, um, I'll leave, well, I can't leave a link to this because I was going to say, I'll leave a link to this. Because I don't think you can buy these anymore, but, um, I love them because unlike tarot cards, they have a description right on the card. I just, I have such a hard time because, you know, it's amazing. These people who read tarot, I'm like, I'm so impressed with them. The, I mean, they must really have studied it because they know like every card. Um, and I just don't have the, I don't know, someday I might do that. I might take a tarot class. So anyways, um, not to belabor this, but I'm just kind of getting the cards ready. And I've already said the prayer, but I'll say it again. I close my aura to all but my higher self, the God consciousness, my guides and guardians, and ask Archangel Michael to please protect this channel so it's only of the light. Amen. And so can you guys, like I've asked, can you please, for anyone who's visiting, um, that you, that you anticipate will be visiting this reading, can you please, and at the time that they're pulling this, can you please give them a message that you feel is the right one for them and things that they should be considering in, in their life on the day that they stumble across this video? Okay, I'm, I'm getting a lot of flipsy flopsies. I should, um, it's like, oh, I wanted to pull that one and then it kind of flip and flopped. Okay, so can we, can you give us some, a card that would be perfect for anybody who is visiting this video, please? Yep, okay, thank you. All right, so it's the Nine of Fire. And she looks like a pretty fierce woman with some dragons and a light. And it says, don't give up. Protect that which you've controlled. Wait, sorry, created. I can't read it. <laughs> I was trying to read it. Uh, protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. What do you think about that? Are you feeling like you were feeling a little discouraged today, maybe? Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So that's perfect. I'm going to read a little bit more if you want to stick around. If you're not, if you, know, if you don't have time, then there you, you go. Is there any part of the image that you connect with? Anything that feels right to you? I'd love to know about it. So, okay. I also have, so they, it comes with a small booklet and it comes with a bigger booklet um yeah it came like i actually bought this it actually didn't come with it but i love the big one so so this was the nine of fire nine of fire let's see okay here you go 
So if you have a piece of paper, maybe you want to write down some words that are calling to you if this card is something that you're relating to. So the nine of fire indicates that we feel the need to protect what we've created. All through our journey in the fire suit, we've worked hard to create our dreams. We may feel uncomfortable about the safety or stability of what we've built and feel the need to redouble our efforts. It's important at this moment that we have absolute confidence in ourselves. We need to go within to access our inner courage and then turn it outward in a show of bravery and determination. As long as we believe in ourselves, all will be well. It's, it's kind of amazing because the time that I'm pulling this is two days before the U.S. election in 2024 is decided. And we've been on this channel, we've been talking about, well, I did a video earlier today on how important it might be over the next couple months to go within and focus on yourself and um, in order for us to raise up, keep our vibrations high and not live in fear. And so we can peel away the layers of things that have been building our, all our lives for the healing. You know, I kind of look at, I mean, I'm sure you maybe you've heard the analogy of, you know, we all have an onion, like our bodies are like an onion and you have to, in order to get to that core, you got to peel off all the, the stuff around the core. And it's kind of like, depending on how old you are, how much, how many layers you have. So but this is going, I think the next couple months, trying to keep our vibration higher, uh, we might, you know, need to be spending time going within. So I'm hoping that these cards, this kind of discussion helps a little bit in that process. So symbolism, a beautiful woman, a beautiful woman stands ready, determined, and perhaps even a bit defiant. Oh, doesn't that not relate to <laughs> the U.S. election right now? She's proud of her accomplishments and will never give up on her dreams. Beside her is her dragon ally, who has her wings up as if to protect what's behind her. The dragon and the woman both hold wands that are the same color, indicating that they're invested as equal partners in what has been created. That's beautiful. A pot of gold represents what has been accomplished. So the pot of gold, where is that? I can't see it, is it over here? I think it's right there. Okay, so a pot of gold represents what has been accomplished. This may be taken literally as financial abundance or as a metaphor that the results of their passion are as valuable to them as gold. In the pot of gold, there are six additional wands. Oh yeah, I see them right there. This may indicate that their worries over their possessions is unwarrant unwarranted. Since the number six can indicate undue concern about material goods. Okay. This is card 31. We're asked to assess whether our fears or worries may simply be illusions. Perhaps our protective stance isn't necessary. However, if our concerns are justified, then we can know with great confidence that our determination will see us through. Help from the Ascended Masters is ours for the asking. I love that. So we just need to ask. Since this number reduces to four, three plus one, because it's 31, the card is 31. I don't know where it says 31. I don't know. I'd have to look at that. Um, it just says this is card 31. So uh, since this card reduces to four, three plus one, we can also know that the entire angelic realm is by our side. <laughs> See, we're not doing this alone. We're not doing this alone. Especially, especially now during these really tricky times. Isn't that great? The astrological association for this card is moon and Sagittarius. Now, this part, I, I don't really understand these very much. This is a very independent and confident energy. While it can 
sometimes be competitive, it also stands for a sense of safety and protection. There's a belief that everything will work out even in the face of extreme odds. Visionary, hopeful, and perhaps even a bit sassy, Moon in Sagittarius can accomplish just about anything it wants. Cool. So what do you think? I hope this helps. Have a great day.